Since 2015, Blue Zone's project has engaged more than 275,000 individuals in their well-being, making healthy choices easier where they go to school, work, live, play, pray, eat, and shop. One way we do this is by encouraging individuals to practice the Blue Zone's Power 9 principles for health and longevity. Alma McDermott, librarian at Lake Trafford Elementary, has applied these principles into her own life to include the 80% rule, move naturally, and purpose. Adding these to her daily routine has helped her overcome adversity and served as a blueprint for a healthier, happier life. One of the Blue Zones uh, precepts is to move naturally, and I love to run. I've been a runner since 1979, so moving naturally comes naturally to me. It is so important to get out there and just move, and that's one of, one of the things that Blue Zones teaches us, to move naturally, move the way you can, and for me, that's running. So I follow the Blue Zones principles in my life, you know, through finding my purpose to make sure that I reach the kids through reading, I'm finding, helping the kids to find their purpose because not only do they find what they want through reading, it helps them achieve the purpose for their future and for their present time. Because the books are gonna teach them about now and then it'll teach them for their future. And it's kind of like a ripple effect. You know, I learn my, my uh, purpose, they learn their purpose, they achieve their purpose for the future and it just keeps going and glowing like the Blue Zones Project does for all of us. My mom passed away in 2018, so when that happened, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to do anything. I, I didn't want to work out, I didn't want to eat. And then in 2019, I broke my ankle when I was out on a run. And so the weight that I gained from my mom, I gained more because now I can't run. And then I broke my two toes, and again, I couldn't eat and run. So I wound up gaining 25 pounds. And then last June, I realized my cholesterol was super high, my weight was high, so I decided to apply my favorite uh, Blue Zones precept of Arahachibu. And then within a year, I lost 25 pounds and my cholesterol went down 100 points. As well as working with individuals, Blue Zones Project has partnered with over 780 organizations that are collaborating to help Southwest Floridians live longer, better. Since joining Blue Zones Project in 2018, Benita Springs Charter has been a shining example of adopting the Power Nine into their curriculum. They even took their yearbook to a whole new level. Using a Power Nine theme, the book showcases students and faculty engaging in Blue Zones longevity and well-being principles throughout the academic year. Elementary students and teachers even celebrated their first 100 days dressed up as centenarians as a fun way to demonstrate our goal of helping everyone live longer, healthier lives. And it is funny to watch kindergartners dress up and how they come in. The little glasses on or the little mustaches, but it's really neat for them to see that you can live to be 100 years old and, and we're gonna teach you as you grow older how to do that because they're only kindergartens. They're just getting exposed to the Blue Zones Project um, as little wee ones. I do feel that we do see a ripple effect within our families because we do have even here a healthy snack policy for our kids. Um, we want them to drink lots of water when they're having their snack. We give them a list of things that are um, healthy for them to choose from, to bring in. And so as you go along the way and as they're growing up and through that, even my own son is a fifth grader here and when we pack the lunch in the morning, he will have different foods that he has, but he always makes sure that he gets a particular type of food for his healthy snack. So he's been here since kindergarten, so he's learned that, you know, as my well-being, when I'm having snack as a class and everyone's seeing each other's snack, it needs to be a healthy option um, for them to have. But our families also know that when it's time to celebrate and celebrate birthdays, we still want to celebrate children um, and, and their special day, but, you know, they bring in some pretzels or some popcorn or maybe some banana or fruit or do donate a book instead of having cakes and cupcakes for every single kid in the class throughout the year. We also partake in Blessings in a Backpack, so that's a huge program here at our school where we help feed children over the um, weekends on Saturdays and Sundays with breakfast and lunch. Again, about what it, what it is to be healthy and what you need to be healthy, I think is really important for our families to um, make sure that we, they know that we're reiterating that as well with our kids. We have a gardening team here for the ripple down effect that I notice as middle schoolers is that they go home and then they start making gardens at home. 
and then they start, you know, um, having that conversation with their grandparents or their parents about what plants you have to plant next to each other, and it's just kind of a neat little experience that they're taking that and gardening at home that they've learned here at school. And when they're doing the gardening and they're doing the plant slant and learning that, what's really not nice for our kids is when they take all the harvest, we give it, we donate it all to the Cafe of Life here locally in Bonita Springs to help families that are in need for that. So the kids love to take a picture of all the items that they get um, and, and then donate it to someone in need. I think that that's really a great part of, of that project as well. Star Ability Foundation, an organization that works with individuals with disabilities, continues to raise the bar for well-being among their members. Garden and volunteer projects, encouraging healthy eating, and their online Power 9 series have demonstrated the impact that incorporating best practices can have on the overall health and happiness, not only for their members, but also their families and beyond. So what we started immediately once we became an associated organization with Blue Zones was we started to go on Moai walks with our participants, we did beach cleanups, we already participated in a cooking class which was an amazing program that continued to grow to focus on life skill development and of course making healthy food choices. And in addition, we also partnered with other restaurants and community partners that are also affiliated with the Blue Zones project to give them that life skill development and vocational experience. And also we love to go out to lunch, so we'll make sure that the participants make healthy food choices when we do do that, in addition to participating in our cooking class and our nutrition class that we also offer. By being a part of the Blue Zones project, they are encouraged to live happy lifestyles and lifestyles where they can focus on their health, their happiness, and by realizing that our programs and activities correspond with the mission and principle of the Blue Zones Project, they belong to something and they feel that they are living their best life. So, I mean, I think that, again, it all ties together and it just got everyone involved and really, really brought in the awareness of what the Power Nine and just a pledge that living a longevity and a great life is, is the way to go. Blue Zones Project currently works with more than 70 homeowners associations to help raise well-being for staff and residents. Stonebridge Country Club, a recognized HOA, has led the way in implementing Blue Zones Project best practices in their environment to create a community where healthy choices become easier and connection and socialization become a part of everyday life. So from the first time I heard about Blue Zones, I knew it was a natural fit for Stonebridge Country Club because Stonebridge is all about the social aspect, uh, wellness, lots of activities, uh, really aligns with a lot of the principles of, of Blue Zones. Since we've joined the program, we're now doing quite a, a calendar of events uh, with Blue Zones activities. We do a wine at five a number of times throughout the year. We have a tractor trek program that we do every season where members have a friendly competition with some prizes as they, they count their steps. Um, we do walking moais and, and different activities so that the members can get together socially uh, with a Blue Zones slant to it. We've even adjusted some of our menus that we offer for our members with plant slant uh, menu-based items. And we've even introduced programs for the staff too. We offer an employee meal and we're now offering healthier options at the employee meal. Uh, in fact, we've even done a weight loss challenge this past summer uh, with uh, the staff competing against myself. It was a Beat the GM weight loss challenge. I'm proud to say that a lot of employees beat me, but I, I lost a few pounds as well. So it's been very well received by the membership. Um, in fact, we, we also have done both in-person and online Find Your Purpose workshops, and I've heard numerous uh, comments after that where members really and truly found out what uh, inspired them, what motivated them, uh, really had an impact on their quality of life. So the plan for the future here at Stonebridge is to continue with uh, what's worked very well with the Blue Zone program. Uh, we also have a very active member committee, a volunteer committee, and uh, they have a whole calendar of events planned, so we will have events throughout the year with Blue Zones as a theme. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's, it's amazing uh, to see that transformation in the community. Stonebridge has always been a close-knit community, but to bring people together around wellness, whether that's a social aspect, a walking moai, whatever it might be, 
it, it really is inspiring, it's great to see. For other HOAs and, and country clubs, I would definitely recommend the Blue Zones program. Um, you know, it's, it's not just an insignia that you can put on your website. Um, it really does change the, the, the feel of the community. It gives people an opportunity to truly buy into a program that ultimately improves their life. In addition to engaging individuals and organizations, Blue Zones Project works with community planners and elected leaders to help make healthy choices easier related to food and tobacco policy, as well as the built environment. In the fall of 2020, Blue Zones Project and partners launched the Food Policy Council, comprised of more than 60 champions who operate within the local food system from food pantries and local farms to Lee and Collier school districts and restaurants the council is working to create reliable access to healthy, affordable food for everyone. The Food Policy Council is currently participating in the Means Database, which is a nonprofit food waste rescue program. Local partner St. Matthew's House is leading the way in making sure no food goes to waste and that it ends up in the hands of those in need. With the use of the Means Database, they have helped Collier County become the most successful county in Florida, accounting for 70% of all the food being rescued in the state. So we're grateful for the Food Policy Council and also Blue Zone Project because they introduced us to the Means Database. It's guaranteed that no food goes to waste, that we're always able to reach people that could grab the, the food, um, and that it goes to somebody in need. So we're so grateful for the introduction of the Means Database and we're grateful that really, at the end of the day, it serves a purpose. Thanks to our partnership with the Food Policy Council and Blue Zone Project, we were able to send out 43,000 pounds of fresh produce out to our community. And with that said, 70% of that went to our Immokalee neighborhood. So one of the things that I love about the Means Database is just how easy it is to use. It's a three-step process. It makes it easy on our end when we want to have food out to the community or to distribute out food. And it makes it easy also uh, for those agencies that are receiving. It's easy as one, two, three. Um, and we're grateful for that because as a, a distribution, as food distribution that we have about 12 different sites, we want something that's easy and convenient. And the Means Database makes it that very easy and convenient.